Here we go. Submit. He's done it. All right, you are you ready? We're it's time. <laughs> Breach. Here we go. Here's your cast. Look at that. Look at this shit. Welcome to our second Hunger Games from District One. Bernie Sanders and Megatron from District Two. King Dedede and Spagoot. District 3, Seto Kaiba and Jerry Springer. Some of these images, like, stretch horribly. District 4, Poison Ivy and Asuka. Top tier team. Went to pour into evil Jews to death to crush Pinky to seizure. Classic commentary. District 5, Braun Strowman and Michael Cole. District 6, The Undertaker and Lightning McQueen. District 7 is Steve Jobs and Barney the Dinosaur. District 8, Spider-Man and Jigglypuff. District 9, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, and Jake Paul. District 10, Mr. Manhattan, and Kiryu from Yakuza. I think specifically that's the Yakuza 6 Kiryu. District 11, Junko and Ashima, and Harley Quinn. And District 12, Kimmy, who I didn't have a picture ready at hand, so I just represented her by two lesbians. And Waddle Dee doing a T pose. District 3 and 11 are your favorites to win. That's, uh, it's gonna be Seto Kaiba and Jerry Springer. And I think, no offense, I, I would say the Kimmy team just also because it has Waddle Dee. Kimmy Waddle Dee, Junko Harley Quinn, and Undertaker Lightning McQueen are probably my, my top tier picks. I think, or, or I think we're ready to go right into this. We're, I gotta see how this looks first. So don't, don't look at this. This is all spoilers. Okay, we're good. That that looks weird. Give me a second to crop it. Don't look at none of this. This is all illegal. And you're not allowed to view this. This is don't don't look at the screen. Don't look. Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes while I crop. No, what do you mean? Click. Browse. There we go. There we go. Now let's. Just bring that down a little. Take side of that. Hit OK. Move it over here. Full screen. Edit scene. And center it. There we go. No. <laughs> District 11 isn't. Wait, I wish it was Paul Logan Paul instead of Jake for Phoenix. District 11 is my fave too, but how dare you, sir? Is that a death threat? All right, here we go. Let's let's read this. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Spider-Man runs away from the cornucopia. Poison Ivy runs away from the cornucopia. Steve Jobs runs away with a lighter and some rope. Oh, he's a very intelligent man. Kiryu runs away from the cornucopia. God, a bunch of fucking cowards in this one. Mr. Manhattan finds a bag full of explosives. Oh, shit. Braun Strowman and Junko Inoshima fight for a bag. Junko Inoshima gives up and retreats. A smart move by Junko. A smart move indeed. Jigglypuff runs away from the cornucopia. Kimmy, Lightning McQueen, and Seto Kaiba work together to get as many supplies as possible. I love the image of that. Of just Seto Kaiba and Kimmy riding in Lightning McQueen, hanging out the window, scooping up supplies. Great teamwork there. Harley Quinn runs away from the cornucopia. Michael Cole runs away from the cor Fucking cowards! <laughs> Poison Ivy has a tactical advantage. Right, she does. Megatron takes a spear from inside the cornucopia. What does a Megatron need with a spear? Oscar runs away from the cornucopia. Jake Paul breaks Waddle Dee's nose for a basket of bread. What a... F wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Undertaker finds a canteen full of water. King Diddy runs away from the cornucopia. Savage I knew I'd get some teammates. Barney runs away from the cornucopia. Jerry Springer, Spagoot, Bernie Sanders, and Phoenix Wright share everything they gathered before running. How, how very nice of these four intellectual gentlemen. I fucked up. I accidentally backed out. Did that reset everything? No! It's all still good. It all stayed the same. Thank God. Proceed. Day one. Spagoot receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Everyone loves Spagoot. Teamwork makes the dream work. Kiryu searches for firewood. Undertaker begs for Megatron to kill him. He refuses, keeping the Undertaker alive. Undertaker, why are you giving in so early? 
King Dedede explores the arena. Barney, Bernie Sanders, and Seto Kaiba hunt for other tributes. I guess Kaiba left the team. Poison Ivy and Phoenix Wright hunt for other tributes. Spider-Man defeats Braun Strowman in a fight, but spares his life. God, what a legend Spider-Man is. Devil could have used that water. He sure could have. Harley Quinn explores the arena. What is this group of people? Waddle Dee, Junko Inishima, Steve Jobs, Mr. Manhattan, and Michael Cole hunt for other tributes. Is it a gang? Is this just a full-on army coming for everyone? Asuka camouflages herself in the bushes. Second army over here. Jerry Springer, Kimmy, Jigglypuff, Jake Paul, and Lightning McQueen hunt for other tributes. We're about to have a war on our hands? Arena event. The arena's borders begin to rapidly con contract. Kiryu survives. Megatron survives. Juke and Asima survives. Seto Kaiba pushes Harley Quinn into the border while she's not paying attention. I guess that means she's dead. Phoenix Wright pushes Spagoot into the border when he's not paying attention. Oh no! Not Spagoot! Braun Strowman survives. Mr. Manhattan survives. Lightning Queen survives. King Dedede restrains Undertaker to a tree and leaves him to die. What a bitch. <laughs> Gang war. Bernie Sanders restrains Jake Paul to a tree and leaves him to die. A hero. Spider-Man survives. Oscar survives. Wall D survives. Poison Ivy survives. Kimmy survives. Steve Jobs survives. Jigglypuff survives. Barney is electrocuted by the border. No, he was too slow. Gang warfare. Michael Cole survived. That costume held him back. Jerry Springer is electrocuted by Jesus. This arena event. Just I put I put like an hour into setting up these images, and they're just gonna kill off half the, half the cast with the border. Six cannon shots, Harley Quinn, Spagoot, Undertaker, Jake Paul, Barney, and Jerry Springer all killed. Why do they have to kill them off? Oh my god, Seto Kaiba, Dedede, and Bernie Sanders, and Phoenix. I can't believe Phoenix Wright fucking killed Spagoot, what an asshole. Kimmy, Kimmy and Waddle Dee still standing strong. I like to think Barney needs a painful death. I don't know much. I, I, I don't speak for Kimmy, but I'd like to think she wants Waddle Dee to make it to the end with her. I'd like to think we all want Ma Waddle Dee to make it to the end with her. You got Ryder Asuka. Smart choice. He is willing to pull the trigger. Michael Cole loses sight. Oh, this is not one, of course. Kimmy, Poison Ivy, Jigglypuff successfully ambush and kill Braun Strowman, Waddle Dee, and Megatron. Never mind. Kimmy's going to speak for herself as she gangs up with another, with the two biggest lesbians in the industry. And they just kill the three biggest threats of this competition. Mr. Manhattan begs for Phoenix Wright to kill him. He refuses, keeping Mr. Manhattan alive. Kiryu receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Steve, Job attem Steve Jobs attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Didn't he get a lighter, though? <laughs> Jesus! This, was, this is the gang warfare right up here. Jesus, Lightning McQueen kills Bernie Sanders for his supplies. I love the image of everything involving Lightning McQueen, because it's just, damn, well, can't let my partner guilt me out of it, needed my gang. I, like, I love the idea of Bernie Sanders just at camp, middle of the night, going to like, eat some cookies or something, Lightning McQueen just fucking runs him down and scoops up his supplies. Seto Kaiba thinks about winning all the fucking time. King Diddy loses sight of where he is. Spider-Man defeats Junko and Ishima in a fight, but spares her life. Why is Spider-Man just dueling everyone and then leaving them be? Asuka stays awake all night. She must make sure that no one is ready for her. Mr. Manhattan sprains his ankle while running away from Spider-Man. He wanted nothing to do with that duel. Poison Ivy makes a wooden spear. Michael Cole stalks King Dedede. Kimmy tries to sleep through the entire day. Fucking classic Kimmy. Steve Jobs overpowers Junko and Ishima, killing her. I can't believe that. Is that. I think that might be one of the first teams dead. Kiryu diverts Jigglypuff's attention and runs away. Seto Kaiba camouflages himself in the bushes. Lightning McQueen explores the area. Spider, good man. Phoenix Wright diverts Asuka's attention and runs away. She's hunting him. Five cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Braun Strowman. I don't know why I'm laughing at this Waddle Dee image so much. Braun Strowman, Waddle Dee, Megatron, Bernie Sanders, and Junko all dead. Harley Quinn and Junko are the first team. Nope, Bernie Sanders and Megatron were technically the first to die. I know what I need. Sleep is necessary. Oh my god. Steve Jobs goes to sleep. Poison Ivy quietly hums. Spider Man stays awake all night. Asuka, Seto Kaiba, Kiryu, King Diddy, and Lightning X McQueen sleep in shifts. Kimmy receives an explosive from an 
unknown sponsor, wink wink. Mr. Manhattan and Michael Cole hold hands. Oh, oh, budding, this is the gayest episode of Hunger Games ever, and I love it. Phoenix Wright and Jigglypuff talk about the tribute still alive. <laughs> Jesus, give me so many kills. Oh, I didn't pay attention to how many kills she had. She's in it to win it. Lightning McQueen fishes. Poison Ivy receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Asuka dies of dysentery. Fuck, dysentery takes out the best of them. Seto Kaiba, Steve Jobs, King Diddy, Mr. Manhattan, and Phoenix Wright hunt for troops. Damn, three kills, two fuck around. Thanks, sponsor. You know where it's at. Kimmy throws a knife into Kiryu's head. Make that four kills. Jigglypuff stalks Michael Cole. The stalker becomes the stalky. Spider-Man is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Is that a death? What is the point of that? Asuka and Kiryu. I can't believe Dysentery fucking took out Asuka. That's <laughs> fucking... Dysentery. No one is ready for Dysentery. Kimmy has the most kill. Kimmy is tied with Can of Dr. Pepper for kills now. Jigglypuff's close. Jigglypuff has three fucking kills. They must all be team kills. Spider-Man, classic pacifist. Beaten so many people, refuses to end their lives. On to day, night three. Seto Kaiba uh, climbs a tree to rest. Kimmy screams for help. Steve Jobs quietly hums. Phoenix Wright cries himself to sleep. He haunted by the spagoot past. Kimmy is a Dr. Pepper reincarnate. Spider-Man di Spider didn't die, just blood a little. King Diddy destroys Michael Cole's supplies while he's asleep. Fuck Michael Cole. Spider-Man, Jigglypuff, and Mr. Manhattan cheerfully sing songs together. Oh, Jigglypuff's helping him fall asleep. Lightning McQueen receives an explosive item from an unknown sponsor. Wink, wink. Kerchow. Poison Ivy tries to treat her infection. Alright, let's keep going. King Diddy collects fruit from a tree. Michael Cole, Mr. Manhattan, Kimmy, Spider-Man, and Jigglypuff hunt for the tribute. Kimmy and Jigglypuff stand in gangs together. Lightning McQueen travels to higher ground, stalking them. Steve Jobs sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Poison Ivy steals from Phoenix fight while he isn't looking. Ket Seto Kaiba travel travels to higher ground. Of course, riding in Lightning McQueen, I presume. No cannon shots. Oh, congratulations, everyone. Kimmy receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Wink, wink, stay healthy. Steve Jobs destroys Spider-Man's supplies while he's asleep. Everyone's a fucking dick now. Jigglypuff starts a fire. Ten out of ten, pretty good for a pacifist. I like to think Jigglypuff wasn't making a campfire. I just like to think he was just burning things. Lightning McQueen tries to tree's infection. Mr. Manhattan tries to tree's infection. Seto Kaiba receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Oh, probably, uh, Dual, Dual Monsters Incorporated, or Kaiba... Kaiba Corporation. Michael Cole loses sight of where he is. King Diddy bashes Poison Ivy's head in with a hammer. Let's pretend that says hammer. Phoenix Wright receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Mr. Manhattan receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. I'll fucking again. Or is that? No, Phoenix Wright did it last time. Settle Kaiba, Lightning McQueen, Michael Cole, and Spider Man raid Jigglypuff's camp while she is hunting. King Diddy sprains his ankle while running away from Steve Jobs. Kimmy sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Phoenix Wright constructs a shack. In honor of Spagoot. Phoenix Wright refuses King Diddy's shelter, killing him. Even Oh, acidic rain pours down the arena. Oh, good lord. Kimmy refuses Seto Kaiba's shelter, killing him. The fiend. Michael Cole survives. Mr. Manhattan survives. Spider-Man injures Lightning McQueen and leaves him in the rain to die. The first kill from Spider-Man. I would survive a horror movie. Wright is the new Suzuki. Good thing he made that fucking shack. He's choosing to live. Steve Jobs trips face first into a puddle of acidic rain. What a horrible way to go. Jigglypuff survives. Damn, five now. Five cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Fucking rip, crook, chow. Five kills for Kimmy. She has beaten a can of Dr. Pepper's record. Mr. Manhattan, Michael Cole, now the only pacifists remaining. I'm the best killer now. Let's see. I'm actually rooting for Kimmy so much now. Spider-Man, Michael, and Kimmy discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Jigglypuff stays awake all night. Phoenix Wright sees a fire, but stays hidden. Mr. Manhattan screams for help. I shall end them all. Michael Cole decides not to go to the feast. Kimmy decides... Oh, there's the feast! Cornucopia is replaced with food. Michael Cole doesn't go. Kimmy doesn't go to the feast. 
Smart, she knows she's probably got some enemies from all these kills. Jigglypuff decides not to go to the feast. Spider-Man tracks down and kills Mr. Manhattan. His bloodthirst, he's got the venom in him. <laughs> Phoenix Wright dies from an infection. Shit, that sucks. Haunted by Spagoot till the very end. Day 6, Jigglypuff makes a slingshot. Kimmy receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Wink, wink. Spider-Man injures himself. That could be the end of Spider-Man. No, right? Michael Cole explores the arena. Two cannon shots. Are we down to the last four? We only have four people left. Spider-Man, Jigglypuff, Kimmy, and Michael Cole. Three massive possible winners. And Michael Cole. Let's go Spider-Man. None of us went to the feast. A little food wasted. The feast is like the weapons and shit, too. I just don't think none of you wanted to get caught. Jigglypuff cooks her food before putting her fire out. Spider-Man repeatedly stabs Michael Cole to death with size. Oh my god, Spider-Man. <laughs> Kimmy attempts to start a fire but is unsuccessful. These are our last three. I think the next day is the end of it. One of these three is walking away the winner. Will it be Kirby? An, ear an early advantage taker now just riding out the storm. Kimmy, an absolute slaughter machine. Or Spider-Man, who just kind of showed off to everyone. A real pacifist and now he's absolutely gone mad with bloodthirst. Who will be the winner? Spider-Man lends to J tends to Jigglypuff's wounds. Kimmy discovers a cave. They're gonna work together. Spider-Man's healing Jigglypuff. No one gave me a lighter and probably for the best. They're gonna work together to take her out. Oh, here we go. Here comes the end. Spider-Man screams for help. Kimmy and Jigglypuff hold hand. Jigglypuff's a double agent. They're going for Spider-Man. Shit. The bamboozle. Spider-Man makes a wooden spear. Jigglypuff towards the arena. Kimmy receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Wink, wink. No one died that day. Oh my god. Kimmy quietly hums. Jigglypuff loses sight of where she is. Spider-Man receives an explosive from his unknown sponsor. Tony Stark. The Avengers. It's all coming together. Spider-Man receives another explosive from an unknown sponsor. Kimmy camouflages herself in the bushes. Jigglypuff sees smoke rising. This is supposed to investigate. Look at these god tier competitors. They're all lasting so long. No can I almost feel like everyone intense. I almost feel like everyone here should be added to Redemption Island after all of this. Jigglypuff cries herself to sleep. Spider Man sets an explosive off, killing Kimmy. Truth, I'm always singing this game knows. Spider Man got her. He got her in the night, took, got her in her sleep with his fucking one billion explosives he was gifted. Kimmy down, Kimmy down, Kimmy down. Jigglypuff poisons Spider-Man's drink, but mistakes it for her own and dies. Jigglypuff, what are you doing? Jigglypuff, what are you doing? What a way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jigglypuff. I should have used my explosions. <laughs> I can't believe that's how Jigglypuff goes. The winner is Spider-Man from District 8. God damn it. Honestly, that's better than the screen I have, so... Here we go. It is Dracula, Heath Slater, Homer Simpson, Ken Shamrock, Neville, and Shane McMahon in a dog eat dog. Now I have no idea what uh, re reasoning is, but it is set to on. If that uh, fucks it up, then we'll just go to a reasoning off, and maybe it'll help uh, everything a okay, and we'll all just be happy hunky dory friendos. So let's let's proceed in dog eat dog. Treadmill trivia. The contestant must answer how does this look on the thing real quick? Looks fine. The contestant must answer a series of questions while running on a treadmill suspended in the air. For every question the contestant answers incorrectly, the treadmill will speed up. The contestant will lose if they fall before correctly answering 10 questions or give up. It's time to choose the loser. Oh, wait. 
Oh, oh, they, they're voting for who does it. Ross to Homer for the win. His stupidity will somehow be able to wing it all the way through. Vlad, or Dracula votes for Shane McMahon. He believes Shane McMahon will do the worst on the challenges. Oh, reasoning is like, why? I, I, cool, this is nice. If Shane McMahon loses the challenge, this means uh, Dracula will be safe from the dog pound. I'm not going to read that last part every time. He Slater votes for Dracula. He believes Dracula will do the worst. Homer votes for Dracula. Ken Shamrock votes for Heath Slater. Neville votes for Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon votes for Neville. It is a tie between Shane McMahon and Dracula. Since this is the first round, a random person has chosen to break the tie. Homer Simpson selects Shane McMahon to take on the challenge. He believes Shane is the strongest competitor. Taking out a strong competitor may improve the odds of avoiding the dog pound later. What strategy by Homer? Unless we put a donut in Maggie and he, Homer can't run. Thankfully, Homer taking out. Shane McMahon is a strong competitor. He is very athletic. He is the greatest wrestler in the history of the world. Oh, there, there were, Shane McMahon had reasoning, too. Shane McMahon voted for Neville because he doesn't expect Neville to receive other votes. Okay. So I, I guess he just threw his vote away for some reason. All right. Shane McMahon is successful at the challenge. Candidates for the Dog Pound are Dracula and Neville. Shane McMahon sends Neville to the Dog Pound. He believes that Neville is the strongest overall competitor. Getting out a strong competitor means greater odds to be the top dog. Round two, here we have our, our five up here, and Neville is currently in the Dog Pound. He better be careful. He could get eliminated here, I assume. Challenge, reveal, and vote. Hurricane, the contestant must race up a coconut tree, grab a coconut, then jump into the tank of water and swim them to their basket underneath the water all while it rains. The contestant will lose if they fail to complete the challenge within three minutes or they give up. It's time to choose the loser. Dracula votes for Shane McMahon. He doesn't expect Shane to receive other votes if Shane's not. I'm not going to read the last line. We all know what that one says. Heath votes for Shane. He believes Shane McMahon will do the worst on the challenge. Homer votes for Ken Shamrock. He believes Ken Shamrock will do the worst on the challenge. Ken Shamrock votes for Dracula. He believes Dracula will do the worst on the challenge. And Shane McMahon votes for Dracula. He has the weakest relationship with Dracula. Ooh, interesting. Shane McMahon playing the, the Bond roles. It is a tie between Shane McMahon and Dracula. The last contestant into the Dog Pound breaks a tie. And Neville selects Shane McMahon to take on the challenge because he screwed Neville earlier. So where it comes back to bite Shane McMahon in the ass. The contestant must race up a coconut tree, blah, blah, blah. Shane McMahon is successful once again completing two challenges. No one's voting against Homer. He's a god. They're trying to make Homer the last one so they can beat him one-on-one. -on -one. They're trying to get rid of Shane because he's clearly an athletic god. Look at that shooting star press. Candidates for the dog pound are Dracula and Heath Slater. I just realized, oh wait, am, am, I, am I like, can you guys even see everything? I just realized you might not be able to see everything. This may be crop poorly. Here's a, let me. No, that, that seems fine. I want to see what the vote looks like. Wait, give me, give me, give me a second. I'm watching the, uh, thing. You see it? Only the top three. I'll, I'll wait till the next vote, then I'll see if I can crop it better. Shane's successful. Candidates for the Dog Pound are Dracula and Heath Slater. Shane McMahon sends Dracula the Dog Pound because he has the weakest relationship. Shane taking everyone out. Here we have Homer, Slater, Shamrock, and Shane up here. These two in the Dog Pound. All right, let's uh, let's let's fix this real quick. Let's make this a little better. I apologize for doing this in the middle of it, but let's uh properties some of the window yeah let's go this followed by this okay Just make it a, a, a little bit smaller, just a little bit. 
There we go. That's pretty good. There we go. That's nice. Now we can see. At the very, you can see everything I see, and I don't have to try and remember that you can't see some of it. Sliding floor trivia. The contestant must answer a series of questions while standing on a split platform. For every question the contestant answers incorrectly, the platform will move further apart. The contestant will lose if they cannot answer ten questions correctly before falling, or they give up. It is time to choose the loser. Slater votes for Homer. He believes Homer will do the worst in challenge. It's very hard for him to do the splits. Homer finally got a vote out, but he's Ross to Homer, so he's just chilling it. Homer votes for Shane McMahon to lose. Shane McMahon will do the worst on the challenge. Ken Shamrock votes for Shane McMahon. He doesn't expect Shane McMahon to receive other votes. Uh-oh. Shane McMahon votes for Heath Slater. He has the weakest relationship with Slater. Shane McMahon will be doing the challenge again. Shane McMahon is successful. Candidates for the dog pound are Homer and Shamrock, and Shane McMahon sends Ken Shamrock to the dog pound. He believes that Ken Shamrock is the strongest overall competitor. Unbelievable. Shane McMahon taking them all out. Why keep voting for Shane to get the best one first? They're trying to get rid of Shane because if he fails, he goes to the dog pound. Although, you, you would, I, I would imagine in real life, you would probably have some competitors working together to vote the best one of them. Well, no, because they have to, like, they have to have voted for you. That's right. It's weird, you know? I'm sure there's mind games to it in the real game, where you're like, oh, we get him to vote for me, and then I win the challenge so I can get rid of him. But Shane, he's too, Shane's too fucking good. He's too good. Top three, Heath Slater, Homer Simpson, and Shane McMahon. I want to say that, like, I can't believe Slater and Homer are in the top three. But yes, I can, because Shane McMahon's winning every competition, and he's getting rid of all the best dudes. Wedge and Tilt. The contestant must answer a series of questions while inside a coffin-shaped case above a tank of water. Damn it, Dracula would have excelled here. For every question the contestant answers correct incorrectly, the case will tilt forward, the open side facing the water. The contestant will lose if they can't answer ten questions before falling or give up. Now, a question about this. Uh, if you just stretch your arms and legs out and you're able to prop yourself in the coffin, even if it's completely upside down, you get to stay in it? Like, does it count? Either way, Heath Slater votes for Homer. He's the weakest relationship with Homer. Homer votes for Heath. He is the weakest relationship. And Shane Man votes for Heath. He has the weakest relationship with Heath. Heath Slater would do this. This is the first challenge not done by Shane McMahon. Because Homer didn't vote for Shane, which, ought to, you know, Shane's not going to vote for himself. Shane could win this by being the fucking best. Heath Slater is unsuccessful at the challenge. He is sent to the dog pound. Of course Slater's not going to know trivia or be able to hang on to a coffin. It is down to Homer Simpson and Shane McMahon here at Dog Eat Dog. The contestant must answer questions from inside their own section of a giant spinning raffle drum by searching for by searching for balls with the number they are looking for. Then place it in a hole on their side. The losing contestant is the one who falls, fails to correctly answer three questions first. Homer and Shane McMahon compete. Excuse me. Homer wins and becomes the top dog. Shane McMahon is sent to the dog pound. But that doesn't mean he wins yet. He's, he's, he's top dog for now, but there, there's, a, there's a way. You know, there, you see there's, there's a final trivia right there. For the trivia category, movies... Homer selects Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon answers incorrectly. Homer scores. Oh, so it's dog versus dog pound now. For the trivia category, money, Homer selects Neville. Neville answers correctly. The dog pound scores. For the trivia category, comics, Homer selects Heath Slater. Heath answers incorrectly. Homer scores. For the trivia category, theater, Homer selects Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock answers correctly. Dog pound scores. For the trivia category, education, Homer selects Dracula. Dracula answers incorrectly. Homer scores. Homer wins $25,000, and he moves on to the grand finale. Homer Simpson is in the finals, joining Spider-Man, Tony Hawk, and Ho Smack from Kiss x Sis. I'll get, I'll get rid of that image here in a second. So here we go. Big Brother over the top. The cast. Aoi Asahina from Danganronpa. Frosty Vamps represented by Fat Akira Tozawa. Hillary Clinton hitting the hardest dab of her life. <laughs> no, please, Twitch. Allow that message. Okay, you motherfucker. He's my fat Tozawa picture. Alright, to be fair, right? 
I was gonna use your dog that you had as your profile picture, but it wasn't your profile picture anymore. So I was like, all right, what's the first image I can use so that we can go? That's Frosty Vamps, and it was Fat Akira Tozawa, <laughs> Hillary Clinton, uh, Hulk Hogan. Better be careful for this spaghetti loving man. Kyrie Sane, Kirby, Kratos, Logan Paul, Sean represented by a colorful bong, Titus O'Neil. <laughs> Shit. I didn't change Tom Phillips' name, so he's Whitney Hogg and Zack Ryder. We'll just know it's Tom Phillips. Let's hit a. Events included. Logic included, included. Alright. Proceed. The twist! Oh, there's the twist! This is what I was covering up from the beginning! Oh, shit, wrong one. There's your twist! America will vote for one of the potential returning house guests to join the game. Will it be Kimmy or Spagoot? America votes for Spagoot! So this is, this is what I was keeping hidden. Was that they were uh, they they had pot they had potential returns, and so I had Kimmy and Spagoot as potential returns, and America voted for the Spagoot. So I'm sorry, Kimmy. Maybe you'll you'll get your shot at Redemption Island, but Spagoot just in. You never realized that just IRL. You never realized it was top. This is BS? <laughs> What's BS, Frosty Vamps? Yes, let's see if Sean can do it as Sam him to coach him. Damn, it could have been fun to be in. Alright, let's see if uh, Spagoot can do well. Relationship highlights. Yeah, sure, show the relationships. Tom Phillips feels slight dislike towards Kratos. Spagoot and Kratos feel a mutual slight bond. Sean and Kirby feel mutual slight dislike. Hulk Hogan feels a slight bond towards Ryder. Sean, slight bond to Kyrie Sane. Kirby and Ali Asahina have a mutual slight bond to each other. Kyrie Sane uh, and Frosty Vamps feel mutual dislike. Or slight dislike, I should say. Logan Paul, slight bond with Kratos. Kratos, slight dislike with uh, Tom Phillips. And Tom Phillips, mutual slight bond with uh, Sean. All right. Household competition, the BB bug. Spagoot drinks from a strange bottle and becomes infected. Spagoot passes the infection to Kirby. Kirby passes the infection to Logan Paul. Fuck you, Sane. Logan Paul passes the infection to Kyrie Sane. Kyrie Sane passes the infection to Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder passes it to Hogan. Hogan passes it to Sean. Sean passes it to Tom Phillips. Phillips passes it to Kratos. Kratos passes it to Titus O'Neil. Titus O'Neil passes it to Asahina. Asahina passes it to Frosty Vamps. And Hillary Clinton wins the head of household competition. I assume by never getting the virus. I didn't realize that was the rule. But all right. I mean, Frosty Vamps, you almost had it. Then they all get an AIDS day one. Safety ceremony. Hillary Clinton begins the safety ceremony. Logan Paul is safe. Kratos is safe. Hulk Hogan is safe. Kirby is safe. Kyrie Sane is safe. Oh, day two? Okay. Aoi Asahina is safe. Frosty Vamps is safe. Tom Phillips is safe. Sean is safe. Zack Ryder is safe. Spagoot and Titus O'Neil are nominated. Oh no! Spagoot! He just got back! America nominates Hulk Hogan! They want him out of here! Spagoot, Titus O'Neil, and Hulk Hogan are nominated. Veto selections. The head of household and the nominees will participate. Hillary Clinton draws Logan Paul to participate. Hillary Clinton draws Aoi Asahina to participate. I don't know what any of this means. What is happening? Veto Vault. Spagoot wins the power of veto competition. Oh shit. Spagoot. Veto ceremony. The nominated house guests give speeches about why the veto should be used on them. Spagoot uses the power of veto on himself. Of course he is. Hillary Clinton names Tom Phillips as the replacement. So here we go. It's Tom Phillips, Titus O'Neil, and Hulk. There's a lot of shit to Big Brother. One of these three is going home. Let's show the events. Kyrie Sane and Tom Phillips have a major fight. Kyrie Sane is impressing the rest of the house. Alliance, not, oh, there's an alliance formed with, of like half the household. 
The Nami House gets weight as the others vote. Asahina votes for Phillips. Frosty Vamps votes for Titus O'Neil. Kyrie votes Hogan. Kirby to Phillips. Kratos to Phillips. Logan to Titus. Sean Phillips. Spagoot Phillips. Zack Ryder Phillips. And America votes for Hulk Hogan. Vito is immunity. I know what Vito is, but I didn't understand how everything was working. Yes, but good. Eviction. The nominee house gets away to eviction results with two votes. Titus O'Neil, you are safe. By a vote of six to two, Tom Phillips has been evicted. He is gonna go face fuck someone so hard. As we move on to week two. God, we have nine fucking weeks of this. Plus a finale. So here we go. Let's just see those alliances here. We see our, our alliance of... Dude, your team is too strong. Your team's half the fucking house. See those relationships? Asahina and Kyrie, medium dislike. Titus O'Neil and Kyrie, medium dislike. Kirby, medium dislike towards Kyrie. Say, not mutual, though. Hogan, medium dislike. I mean, Sean and Kyrie, mutual slight bond. Kyrie and Frosty Rams, mutual slight dislike. Zack Ryder feels a slight bond towards Kirby. Sean and Kratos, mutual slight, bo uh, slight bond. Kratos and Hillary, mutual slight bond. And Zachary and Hogan, mutual slight bond. Frosty Vamps and Sean know it's necessary. Live by the sword. Logan Paul wins the head of household competition. Oh, no. Save a friend. The winner must award immunity for the weak to one household. Titus O'Neil wins America's care package. Titus O'Neil uses the care package and Aoi Asahina. Aoi Asahina has immunity for the weak. He wants them titties. America's have nots. Hillary Clinton, Hulk Hogan, Kyrie Sane. All of the America has voted for the have nots. The fuck does that mean? Safety ceremony. Logan Paul begins the safety ceremony. Because of the care package, Aoi Asahina is safe. Frosty Vamps is safe. Hulk Hogan is safe. Spagood is safe. Zack Ryder is safe. Day 2, Kratos is safe. Hillary Clinton is safe. Sean is safe. And Titus O'Neil is safe. Kyrie Sane and Kirby are nominated. America nominates Hillary Clinton. Kyrie Sane, Kirby, and Clinton are nominated. V veto selections. The head of household and the nominee will participate. Logan Paul draws Titus O'Neil to participate. Logan Paul draws Aoi Asahina. She's already immune, though. Veto for sale. Kirby wins the power of veto competition. The nominated house guests give speech about why the veto should be used. And then Kirby's going to use veto on himself. Are you crazy? Have not gotten. They hate Hogan. Have not given bad treatment. Logan Paul names Titus O'Neil as the replacement. Oh, no. Titus saved Aoi Hasahina. She's got to help him out of this situation. Hillary Clinton and Sean, uh, Sean bond slightly. Hulk Hogan and Logan Paul find something in common. It has a lasting impact. Alliance number two, Asahina, Kirby, Sean, Spagoot, and Zack Ryder. This is a great team. This is the best team right here. This is my team. My team right here. All my favorite characters. Oh, Kyrie, 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 Kyrie. Kratos going for Ryder. Sean going for Ryder. Spagoot going for Ryder. But Ryder. I'm sorry, that's not Ryder. That's Titus O'Neil. I'm an idiot. Ryder going for Kyrie Sane and Kyrie. S oh, America votes for Kyrie. Sane. I thought Kyrie Sane impressed everyone. What's happening here? Sane is gone. Oh shit! Don't know who to vote for. Well, at least Hillary can get voted for something. Yeah, Frosty Vamps voted for Kyrie. Kyrie's so gone. Nominated house guests await eviction results with zero votes. Hillary can save by a vote of six to three. Kyrie Sane has been evicted. Kyrie Sane is so gone. I love you, Chunky Dunks. Hello. Here's your week three competitors. We view our alliances right here. Half the house, the rest of the house working together. Spagoot and Logan Paul have a mutual bond. Hillary Clinton and Frosty Vamps, mutual bond. Uh, Logan Paul, Hulk Hogan, mutual slight bond. Hogan, Asina, mutual bond. Kirby and Hillary Clinton, slight dislike. Kratos, Asiana, mutual dislike. Logan and Kirby, mutual dislike. Uh, mutual slight bond. Um, slight bond. Just, just Spagoot likes Kratos. Kratos and Clinton feel a mutual slight bond. It's Nothing's really changing. Damn, they knew she was too strong. You're scared. Kratos wins the head of household competition. The winner must choose the type of veto that the winner of pick a veto competition will receive. 
Diamond Veto, the Veto winner, can name the replacement if Veto is used. Double Veto, two house guests will each win Veto. And Boomerang Veto, the Veto winner, can use Veto twice. Kratos wins America's Care Package. Kratos will decide later in the week. He's holding on to that decision. America has voted for the have- I still don't know what the have-nots are. But it's Asahina, Kirby, and Spagoot. Kratos begins the safety ceremony. Zack Ryder is safe. Spagoot is safe. Logan Paul is safe. Sean is safe. Hillary Clinton is safe. Hulk Hogan is safe. Frosty Vamps is safe. Kirby is safe. Asahina and Titus O'Neil are nominated. America nominates Zack Ryder, you assholes! Asahina, Titus O'Neil, and Zack Ryder are nominated. The head of household and the nominees will participate in the veto selections. Kratos draws Hillary Clinton and Hulk Hogan. Kratos chooses Diamond Veto, and Zack Ryder wins it. That means not only does he, not only can he save himself, he gets to choose who takes his place. They've not in the bad food treatment. So Zack Ryder could screw someone here. Zack Ryder uses the Diamond Power of Venom on himself, and he chooses no one. He's just leaving it to Asahina and Titus. Oh my god. He's super screwing one of them. He tied Zack Ryder didn't want to anyone. Frosty Vamps and Hillary Clinton have a major fight. It has a lasting impact. Zack Ryder couldn't pull the trigger on anyone. He's a real hero. The nominee has to wait as the others vote. Asahina, Titus, 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 Asahina, Titus, Titus, Titus. And America votes for Asahina. I have not as a household gu uh, guest that has to eat, stop, eat slop in addition to foods voted on by America. Sleep in the have-not bed. Oh, okay, that's why Frosty Vamps was saying they get bad treatment. Okay. Take cold showers. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry, Frosty Vamps. I didn't understand that that's what you were saying. I thought you were saying Hulk Hogan made bad spaghetti or some shit. The nominated house guests await eviction results by a vote of 6-3. to three. Titus O'Neil has been evicted. He is going to slide all the way back home. Week 4, your competitors... Goodness, Dunks. Goodness. Of course, your alliances. None of them have dwindled, actually. The alliances have been sticking strong. Ugh. That allergies. Spagoot, Logan Paul, mutual medium bond. Hogan, Asahina, mutual small bond. Kratos and Clinton, mutual small bond. Kratos and Asahina, mutual medium dislike. They're not having any of it. Spagoot and Hillary Clinton, mutual medium dislike. Zack Ryder and Hulk Hogan, mutual small bond. Logan Paul and Hulk Hogan, mutual slight bond. Sean and Hillary Clinton, mutual slight bond. I don't believe it. Spagoot and Kratos, mutual slight bond. Oh, Kratos is starting to love Spagoot. Sean and Alyosin have a mutual slight bond as well. Oh, perfect shot! Frosty Vamps is the head of household. Congratulations, Frosty Vamps. The safety servant. The winner must follow Big Brother's commands for the week to earn safety. Spagoot wins America's Care Package. Spagoot follows Big Brother's commands to earn safety for the week. Congratulations, Spagoot. Oh, Hillary Clinton, Hulk Hogan, and Sean have been voted as the have-nots. Safety ceremony. Frosty Vamps begins the safety ceremony. Because of the Care Package, Spagoot is safe. Logan Paul is safe. Kratos is safe. Sean is safe. Hulk Hogan, goodness dunks. Hulk Hogan is safe. Hillary Clinton is safe. Zack Ryder is safe. Asahina and Kirby are nominated. Fuck, uh, their Asahina is going to be gone, isn't she? America nominates Hulk Hogan. I don't know. Hulk Hogan could cost himself here. The head of household and the nominees will participate. Frosty Vamps draws Spagoot to participate. And Logan Paul. Spagoot could get a veto while being immune. Could Spagoot be the first person? To win a veto without being nominated. Who knows? So I actually want to point out, right? These three right here, as of right now, they are the uh, to Kirby time to go. These three right here, they're uh, they're the ones up for nomination. Hulk Hogan's in Team Frosty Vamps. These two are in the other team. That could save Hogan. Cost one of these two because his team's bigger. Frosty Vamps wins the power veto. So you're immune and you have the veto to save someone if you want. The nominated house guests give speech about why the veto should be used on them. Frosty Vamps uses the veto on Hulk Hogan. 
Frosty Vamps, you saved Hogan. You're because he's your teammate, of course. I called it. You're screwing the other two. You're lowering their team. Kirby and Sean Bond slightly has a lasting impact. Zack Ryder gains popularity about time. Nominee house guests vote Kirby, Kirby, Asahina, Kirby, 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 Asahina, and America votes for Asahina. Nominee house guests eviction results by a vote of five to three. Kirby has been evicted. Why is Kirby still? Oh, they're all still here. Okay, never mind. Of course, we see that the uh, alliance has dwindled a wee bit here. Alliance number one holding a strangle on the cover. Zack Ryder's in both. So is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute here. The, it's it's a backstab. It's it's the big alliance, and then these three are backstabbing him with Asahina. Your mission is complete. Spagoot and Logan Paul feel mutual strong bond. Spagoot's bonding with Logan. Spagootin. Kratos and Hillary Clinton, medium bond. Hogan, Asahina, small bond. Ryder and Hogan, mutual small bond. Kratos and Asahina, medium dislike. Clinton, small bond with Asahina. Zack Ryder and Logan feel mutual, medium dislike. Kirby's gone, congrats. Go Sean, double agent. Owie. <laughs> Zack Ryder and Logan Paul feel medium dislike. Spagoot and Hillary Clinton have mutual medium dislike. Sean and Owie Asahina feel a mutual small bond. Logan Paul and Hogan have a mutual small bond for one another. One strike, you're out. Spagoot wins the head of household competition. K Eliminate three eviction votes. The winner must prevent three house guests from voting in eviction this week. Frosty Vamps wins America's care package. He's stopping three people from voting. He could screw people even more here. Oh, no. But America's voted Frosty Vamps, Aoi Asahina, and Zack Ryder to have shitty living conditions. Oh, he's gone if she doesn't win a uh, head of house. Uh-oh. America really hates Aoi Asahina. What'd she do? Why are they fucking shitting on Zack, too? Safety ceremony. Spagoot begins the safety ceremony. Fuck. <laughs> Sean is just playing it cool. He's rarely ever mentioned. Logan Paul is safe. Kratos is safe. Hulk Hogan is safe. Aoi Asahina is safe. Zack Ryder is safe. Frosty is safe. You say that, but now Hillary Clinton and Sean are nominated. What the fuck, America? <coughs> America nominates Asahina, of course. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is where uh, Frosty Vamps can pick three people who are in alliance with Asahina, which I think is just Zack Ryder at this point. It's Yeah, because it was, it was Zack Ryder, Sean, Aoi Asahina, and someone else. He can vote Zack Ryder and the other persons so that Aoi Asahina can't be saved and she's fucking done. The head of household and nominees will participate in the veto selections. Spagoot draws Kratos to participate. Spagoot draws Logan Paul to participate. The haunting of Clementine O'Grady. Spagoot wins the power of veto. Spagoot could save... Oh, Spagoot was the other person. He's gonna save Aoi. The nominee house gives speeches. Spagoot uses the power of veto to save Aoi Asahina. It's Sean or Hillary Clinton. Sean is teammates. He's good. Is he though? Spagoot just saved Asahina. Hulk Hogan and Zack Ryder have a major fight. It has a lasting impact. Hillary Clinton and Zack Ryder had something in common that has a lasting impact. Logan Paul gains popularity. Alliance number two dissolves. It's over. Spagoot saved Asahina, but then they went their separate ways. And now Spagoot has joined Hillary Clinton. What on earth? That This is going to be bad if Hillary Clinton gets out of here. Frosty Vance will prevent three house guests from voting. Frosty Vance prevents Asahina, Logan Paul, and Zack Ryder from voting. That's going to get rid of Sean, isn't it? Frosty Vance votes Hillary Clinton. Spagoot traitor. Hogan votes Sean. Kratos votes Sean. America votes Hillary Clinton. It's a tie. The nominate house gets... Uh, the nominated house guests away to eviction results by vote 2-2. Two, two. There's a tie. As head of house votes, Spagoot casts the soul to evict. Spagoot votes to evict Sean. That was the plan. Spagoot screwed Sean. He teamed with Hillary Clinton knowing it would be a draw. And then got rid of Sean. Spagoot's a monster. Spagoot, you son of a bitch. What an absolute masterful play. 
by Spagoot. What a returning star. Let's see these alliances again. I'm reloading chat so I can't see it. Never mind, I can see it. Oh, fuck. Double eviction. Oh, shit. You're right. It is double eviction coming up. Let's show the alliances. Alliance number one. It's these five still. Wasn't this six? Did someone join or did someone leave? Oh, no. Sean was also in and he got kicked out. Hillary Clinton and Spagoot staying together. Spagoot has a strong bond towards Logan Paul. Logan Paul feels a strong bond towards Spagoot. Why isn't it just a fucking strong mutual bond then? Kratos and Hillary Clinton have a mutual medium bond. Hulk Hogan and Aoi Asahina feel a mutual bond. Kratos and Aoi Asahina, mutual medium dislike. I think Asahina has gone this week, to be honest with you. Zack Ryder and Hillary Clinton feel a mutual small bond. Zack Ryder feels medium dislike towards Logan. Spagoot and Hillary Clinton feel mutual medium dislike toward one another. Hillary Clinton feels a small bond towards Aoi Asahina. Logan Paul feels medium dislike towards Zack Ryder. I think Zack or Asahina is gone. Oh! Big brother over the top freshman class. Frosty Vamps wins the head of household. Get out of This is Frosty Vamps chance to get Aoi Asahina out of here. The winner will share the duty of head of household and must nominate one house guest. Logan Paul wins. Logan Paul and Frosty Vamps are head of household. I think Asahina is definitely gone now. America's have-nots, Hillary Clinton, Hulk Hogan, and Spagoot. America did not respect that swindle by Hillary Clinton and Spagoot. No one bonds with me. You're just keeping your distance. You're playing it safe. Frosty Vamps and Logan Paul begin the safety ceremony. Frosty Vamps saves Spagoot. Why? Logan Paul saves Hillary Clinton. <gasps> Is it a four-man faction now? They've saved the team. Frosty Vamp. Oh, Frosty Vamps saves Zack Ryder. What is happening? Frosty Vamp saves Zack Ryder. Logan Paul saves Kratos. Aoi Asahina and Hulk Hogan are nominated. Frosty Vamps claims the Aoi Asahina nomination. Logan Paul claims the Hulk Hogan nomination. What the fuck is happening? What does any of this mean? America nominates Hillary Clinton. Oh, okay, so the two of you voted for who got put in. It wasn't like a house vote or something. I don't know, man. Or it just it just says who you saved. It just worded it weirdly. It's the same as always. Asahina, Hogan, and Hillary are nominated. Asahina is so gone. Asahina is so super gone. The head of household and the nominees will participate. Frosty Vamps draw Spagoot to participate. Hulk Hogan wins the power veto. He just saved himself. It's definitely Asahina gone. Hulk Hogan used the power veto on himself. Logan Paul named Zack Ryder as the replacement. Oh, shit. The nominees. That one had a replacement. Are they, are they trying to screw Zack Ryder? Time to join Kirby Alley. Hulk Hogan is impressing the rest of the house. Hillary Clinton and Kratos bronze. I keep forgetting Kratos is even in this. Hillary Clinton and Kratos bonds strongly. Has a lasting impact. Alley Asin and Hulk Hogan find something in common. Has a lasting impact. Hillary Clinton gains popularity. House guests vote for the house guests. It's a clean sweep for Asahina. Everyone votes Asahina. They work together to screw her out of here. With zero votes, I say a vote of four to zero. Aoi Asahina has been evicted. It is time for double eviction. We're really cutting it here. Here you see the alliances. That's very not strong right there. She's gone. About time, Kratos and Hillary Clinton feel a mutual, unbreakable relationship. Kratos and Hillary Clinton basically in love. Spagoot and Logan Paul feel a strong mutual bond. Frosty Vamps feels medium dislike toward Hulk Hogan. Spagoot feels medium dislike towards Hillary Clinton, but they're in a team together. Time for him to go now. It's a sausage fest with a little bit of Spagoot. Zack Ryder. No, Hillary Clinton's still here. <laughs> Unless that was the joke. Zack Ryder and Hillary Clinton feel a mutual small bond from one another. Zack Ryder feels medium dislike towards Hogan. Kratos and Hulk Hogan have a mutual small bond. Hero Clinton feels medium dislike towards Spagoot. Spagoot and Kratos have a mutual small bond. And Zack Ryder and Logan Paul feel mutual medium dislike toward one another. All I call it. Big Brother Shopping Network. Zack Ryder wins the head of household competition. Big money for Zack. There will not be a power veto competition. Instead, this care package recipient earns immunity with the power and the power of veto. Zack Ryder wins it and gets to save someone of his choice. Zack Ryder begins the safety ceremony. Because of the care package, Zack Ryder is safe. Kratos is safe. Hillary Clinton is safe. Spagoot is safe. Hogan and Logan Paul are nominated. I think Hogan's gone. 
The Nami House gets to give speeches about why the veto should be used on them. Zack Ryder uses the power of veto Hulk Hogan. Never mind! Zack Ryder names Frosty Vamps as the replacement! The nominees are final! Oh shit! Oh shit! Frosty Vamps in trouble. I, I think Logan Paul is going to go out before Frosty Vamps does. Unless it was all an elaborate trap. Hogan has a major meltdown. Frosty Vamps and Logan Paul have a minor disagreement. Frosty Vamps loses popularity. Oh no. Alliance 3 of Clinton and Spagoot gets a little strong. Oh no, Spagoot leaves the Alliance. Spagoot doesn't like Hillary anymore. Now my house guess. That's a... <laughs> It's a clean sweep of votes for Frosty Vamps. America didn't vote for Frosty Vamps, but doesn't matter at this point. The Nami House guests a weighted victory results by a vote of four to zero. Frosty Vamps, you have been evicted. This is BS. Damn, that sucks. Oh my god. How is that a double eviction? One person got evicted. <laughs> Why the fuck do you use the veto? <laughs> Zack Ryder! Playing mind games. Alliance 1 is all that remains, and I think it's literally everyone. <laughs> Spagoot and Logan Paul feel a mutual unbreakable relationship. Spagoot and Logan Paul? What the fuck? Kratos and Hillary Clinton mutual unbreakable relationship. Have they been behind it all this whole time? Hillary Clinton feels medium dislike towards Hogan. Spagoot feels medium dislike towards Hillary. Zachary and Hillary Clinton have a mutual small bond. Logan and Hogan mutual small bond because of their names probably. Hogan feels a small bond towards Kratos. Zack Ryder feels medium dislike towards Hogan. Hillary Clinton feels medium dislike towards Spagoot. And Spagoot and Kratos feel a mutual small bond toward one another. It's time to reflect. Hillary Clinton wins the head. Of household competition. I thought we were going to actually reflect on what's happened in the past. Hillary Clinton begins the safety ceremony. Kratos is safe. Zack Ryder is safe. Hulk Hogan is safe. Logan Paul and Spagoot are nominated. Oh no. She knows that team's up to something. America nominates Hulk Hogan. Logan Paul, Spagoot, and Hulk Hogan are nominated. The head of household and the nominees will participate. All remaining house guests will participate. Dominoes. Kratos wins the power of veto competition. I deserve redemption after that fucking bullshit. You didn't do anything in this game, though. You just existed. Kratos has just existed, and he's made it longer. He just won the veto. The Nami House gets give speech about why the veto should go to them, and he uses the veto on Logan Paul. Hillary Clinton named Zack Ryder as the replacement. Hillary Clinton getting vengeance for Frosty Vamp. Spagoot, Zack Ryder, and Hulk Hogan are the finals. I think Spagoot's gone. Spagoot has a major meltdown. Spagoot knows his time is up. Hillary Clinton is impressing the rest of the house. No one else guess. Wait. No, Kratos votes for Hogan. Logan Paul votes for Zack Ryder. And America votes for Hogan. And it's Hogan that is gone with a vote of 2-1. to one. Hulk Hogan, you have been evicted. Spagoot say he had a meltdown. Spagoot all knew for a fact he was gone, but he was able to stay in it by the grace of America. Spagoot and Logan Paul still unbreakable. Kratos, Hillary still unbreakable. Spagoot feels strong dislike towards Hillary Clinton. Logan and Hillary have a mutual medium dislike. Spagoot and Kratos feel a mutual medium bond together. Hillary Clinton feels a small bond towards Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder and Logan Paul feel mutual medium dislike. Zack Ryder and Spagoot feel a small bond. Zack Ryder and Kratos feel a mutual small bond. Hillary Clinton feels medium dislike towards Spagoot. This is BS. If I was nominated first, then I wouldn't have this problem. Well, keep you posted. Spagoot wins the head of household competition. Save for the week, then. Final four challenge. The winner participates in a challenge. If he or she passes, that house guest will be guaranteed safety to final four. Hillary Clinton wins America's pa uh, package. Hillary Clinton passes the challenge and becomes immune. So Hillary Clinton will be in the final four. Spagoot begins the safety ceremony. Because of the package, Hillary Clinton is safe. Logan Paul is safe. Kratos and Zack Ryder. Are nominated. You feel betrayed? Yeah, that's how Big Brother works. The head of household and nominees will participate. All remaining house guests will participate. Hillary Clinton wins the power veto. She can save someone. 
The nominee house gets to give speeches about why the wet veto should be used on them. Hillary Clinton uses the power veto on Kratos. Spagoot names Logan Paul as replacement. What a betrayal from Spagoot! Unless he knows Zack Ryder's going down. Spagoot and Zack Ryder find something in common. Spagoot and Zack Ryder find something in common. Wow, double, two things in common. Hillary Clinton loses popularity. And Kratos and Zack Ryder form an alliance. Will she win or follow her election legacy? Oh, shit. The nominated house guests wait. Hillary Clinton votes for Logan and Kratos votes for Logan. Logan Paul is gone. I think Spagoot just betrayed Logan for Zack Ryder. Just like Spagoot betrayed Asahina and Sean, I think. Fuck, Spagoot's a mastermind. Show these alliances we have here. Kratos and Zack Ryder trying to stay together. We only have four. Are we? This is final four. These are your final four right here. Yep. This is your final four. Kratos, Zack Ryder, Spagoot, and Hillary Clinton. Fucking Hillary, come join Aoi Kirby and me. Hillary and Kratos have an unbreakable bond. Zack Ryder and Spagoot have a mutual strong bond after that maneuver they pulled. Spagoot feels strong dislike towards Hillary. Spagoot and Kratos have a mutual medium bond. Zack Ryder and Kratos mutual medium bond. Hillary Clinton feels a small bond towards Zack Ryder. Hillary Clinton feels a medium dislike towards Spagoot. And Zack Ryder feels slight dislike towards... I think Hillary Clinton's gone next. I think too many people dislike her. Kratos wins head of household. But he has the unbreakable bond with Hillary. He's going to save her if he can. Kratos begins... Yeah, I knew it. Kratos is going to carry Hillary Clinton to the end. Spagoot and Zack Ryder are nominated. There's no, there's no veto competition. This is it. Kratos and Spagoot bond strongly. It has a lasting impact. Hillary Clinton and Kratos have a major fight. Kratos gains popularity. No. It can't be. No! The two house scouts without safety com compete to stay in the house. Zack Ryder wins. Spagoot is evicted from the house. Spagoot is gone after all this time. We are down to our final three. The winner. The finalists await results. Hillary Clinton finishes in third. Congratulations to the final two. Kratos wins. Zack Ryder finishes second. Fucking Hillary and Ryder betrayed me. Well, congratulations. Neither of them won. It was Kratos who came out in first place. Yeah, there we go. That is seen. Booted. Oh shit, wrong one. We're gonna do the Royal Rumble simulator real quick. Just to get us a quick winner. But it is Kratos. I knew Hillary would get close but not be able to cl close it. Kratos joins. Who, who are our winners so far? It's, uh. It's Hosmack, Tony Hawk. Who won the Hunger Game? Spider Man. Shit. Who? Who won Doggy Dog? Homer Simpson. This is gonna be a bitch to remember. I'm gonna write down the winners. Give me a second. So it's Tony Hawk. <laughs> Ho Smack. Spider Man. Homer. The winner of this one was Kratos. Okay, that that's all of them actually. Now that I think about it. All right, so this is gonna be simple. We're just gonna go battle royal. We're gonna go males, of course. Hundred fifty competitors. Uh, generate entries. Simulate match. And eventually, it's just going to give us a winner over here. Plain and simple. That's there, there, There's nothing else to it. We're, we're just going to wait. Oh, I thought it said Curious George. I was like, what the fuck? My phone has reached 100 battery charge. Who is going to be the winner of this rumble? This is just a free entrant into the finale. And of all these wrestlers, I don't even know if you can read any of this, but it doesn't matter, because we're going to find out who the winner is soon enough. <clears throat> Stu Hart entering at 150, but he just got eliminated, so it didn't matter. There's Elias right there. Is that it? Is that the winner? The winner is Shinsuke Nakamura! 
So Shinsuke Nakamura gets to go to the grand finale. That one's just there, of course. Just, just a free win. Congratulations to Shinsuke Nakamura. Kimmy, sure very happy about that. Big favorite.